Good morning, everyone. I'm sure you can't see it, but my my truck's well. You can. My truck's parked right there. Never been to this place. Just parked there, waiting for it to get daybreak. And uh, coyote howled up on the hill, and birds gobbled down here. So I'm gonna get set up. Throw my J decoy out. See if I can call one in. It's amazing how easily even they can hide up in those trees. Pitch it down. Sound almost exactly like me slapping my jacket. There are a few hands too, so. I may have my work cut out for me. And I gotta get them across this creek or whatever's over here. It's thick down in here too. Yeah, if I wasn't filming, would be nothing to just drop in this ditch and go over there and pop up and shoot one. And right on the other side of the creek, in the, in the prairie or pasture, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna just be patient. It's possible they saw me cutting across this field Although it was still pretty dark and I had the tree line helping me. But that's these western birds, they, they fly down and they'll flock together and they'll follow each other. And it's hard to get one to break free. But as the sun gets up and they start splitting up, going across the prairie, you'll get a straggler here or there, they'll kind of wander in. Sometimes.
So we flatten my decoy and violated it pretty bad. <laughs> I wonder if that's all that was roosted there was Jake's. Or if like the toms are over there with the hens. That's what I'm guessing. There's some toms over there with the hens because I did hear some hens yelping. And these Jake's just came in here. But, could have been some juvenile hens just yelping and they went off on their own and and then these jakes came in and that's all it's there because as soon as the goblin stopped, these jakes came in. Not much I can do about it. I'll sit here and give it a few minutes and then See if I can find some more birds. Turkey jizzed on my decoy. Yeah. <coughs> like I said that's a first. I'm glad he didn't do it on the mouthpiece where I inflated. So I was. I was down that little low spot there. Oh, my head was just above the level of the field. That Jake went around here, went up on that hill goblin, then went back that way. Off in the distance over another knoll is another little drainage like this. And eventually runs into this one, I think, on up the road somewhere. Beautiful, beautiful. I love South Dakota. Yeah, there's that other woodlot. That's where he was heading. I guess he was going to catch up with his buddies. Hey, what? That was a a long day. Yesterday I left Iowa yesterday afternoon and Drove all the evening into the night, stopped and took a two hour nap, and then continued my drive this morning. Got here about an hour before it started getting light, and then just got out of the truck and coyote howled and located birds. I think the drive was the hardest part over here. Right, let's get an old explore and find some more birds. My goal is to get up on this next ridge there, if you want to call it that, and peek down into the ravine where the trees are at. There's a little bit of trees here, but there's a bigger one on the other side. I thought I was hearing a gobble. I, I had my ear cupped. There's some geese that are honking. Kept hearing what sounded like a a gobble. Pretty sure I heard it that time. They're in that big woodlot that's where I was kind of heading to. Let's get on the move and get over there. That hen keeps you up there once in a while. She's giving me a. She's helping me keep tabs on where they're at. Mm -hmm. all the 
gobblers is come quiet it's just that the hen yapping yap 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 getting dangerously open right here tree and maybe throw some calls see if I can bring one in the gun range at least get them goblin again I hear yelping way up the creek I think I'm going to set up and do some blind calling right here and hopefully I can bring one back. It was a bird goblin. I think he was gobbling to the four-wheeler. Wait for the four-wheeler doesn't come all the way up in here. Sounds like it's going back the other way. <laughs> he did not even see me sitting here. This mossy oak for you? That's crazy. He didn't even see me sitting here against this tree, camera, and everything. He even got a face. I looked at him, smiled. He just he saw the decoy. He's like, "Oh, that's a turkey." And turkeys are used to that. He takes this route every day, probably checking on his cows. These walking areas are private properties that they've opened to, to public access, and a lot of them are farm country. Or most everything out here in South Dakota is cattle, and so. Uh, a lot of the walking areas I, that I hunt, you, you'll see the farmers sometimes checking on their cows, and especially in the spring birthing season. But I can't believe he just he come up right by me at like 10 feet. You didn't even see me sitting here. Got a hand yapping behind me. She could have gobblers with her.
Seems that things have gotten quiet around here. Most of the birds are across this fence. I don't know if you can see it right here. Runs right here in front of me. It's private on the other side. That seems to be where all the birds are at. So I'm gonna go try and find another place that has some birds and I'll probably come back here this evening and try to roost this flock because it sounds like a pretty big flock. Back to the truck now, it's starting to get warm out here. Well, <laughs> I was afraid that might happen. Road weary caused me to be tired and I laid here and took a nap. And I woke up and these two big old strutters were right in front of me. And uh, I could have shot them where they were at but I wanted to get footage of them, and I had to wait for them to turn. By the time I got the camera on them and everything, they were bunched up and never separated to give me a clear shot. But if I if I just come up where, when I first saw them, I could just, just snooze you, look at that, is that what they say?